Hello everyone, and welcome to my Soap's official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to the General Hospital spoilers for Tuesday, March 26, Laura Collins was thrilled to see Curtis Ashford making progress during his wheelchair training. The discussion finally went to Jason Morgan's arrest, but Laura couldn't believe Jason would target Sonny Corinthos. Curtis proposed the hypothesis that Jason was still working for Sonny and that Curtis was the target, rather than an accidental hit, as everyone had previously assumed. Laura was suspicious of that hypothesis and urged Curtis to check the source, as certain individuals would benefit from turning him against Sonny and Jason. Meanwhile, Brooklyn Quartermain and Harrison Chase were still in the hospital when Gregory Chase arrived with Hamilton Finn. Gregory was out of breath as he fought to move and speak. But when people offered to aid him, he urged them to back off. Gregory's symptoms were worsening, so this became his new normal. But he was not an invalid and did not want to be treated as one. After calming down, Gregory reiterated that he didn't want Chase and Finn to put their lives on wait for him. Gregory stumbled away with his cane after declaring that he would be riding home alone. Finn recognized Brooklyn and Chase might want to move up their wedding date for Gregory's sake. But Chase worried about upsetting all that Brooklyn had worked so hard on. Brooklyn didn't object since she wanted Gregory to have a good time, but she was apprehensive about holding a large ceremony when Don Falconeri was still recovering. Brooklyn, on the other hand, acted as if shrinking was the solution, turning down Chase's final opportunity to withdraw. Michael Corinthos arrived at Sonny's penthouse to discuss Jason's incarceration and the plan to help him, but Sonny told him Jason had Diane Miller. Sonny was plainly unwilling to help Jason after leaving Dante to die on the pier, so Michael fought with him about Jason's culpability. Ava Jerome suggested that Jason may have fired at Dante by accident and then given first aid once he discovered who it was. Sonny stated everything was possible so Michael inquired whether that included forgiveness. Sonny clearly wasn't interested in delivering that, so he persuaded Michael to go. When Avid accepted Sonny's offer of a drink, he told her that Jason was no longer the same man. Ava said that Jason ceased being that man when he began seeing Carly Spencer when Sonny was in Nixon Falls. Although Sonny couldn't rely on Jason, Ava caressed him under the chin and assured there was someone else he could rely on namely, her. There was a brief period when sparks appeared to fly, but Sonny said it was late. Ava agreed they should call it a night, but they were both relieved she was still there. That Bobby's, John Jagger Cates, Adam Harrington, kept Carly updated on Jason's whereabouts, but he attempted to persuade her not to hurry off to see him because Jason was not allowed visitors. Carly argued with John because she believed he didn't know Jason at all but he confessed he knew Jason Quartermain, since they both battled for Karen Wexler. Carly rushed out after complaining about John's conflicts of interest and whether or not the FBI was aware of them. At the police station, Anna Devane approached Jason in the interrogation room and asked him to certify that he did not shoot at Dante. Anna believed Jason, but she needed more information because the evidence against him had built up. Jason initially declined to reveal further information, but Anna was concerned as to why he would meet with John privately for so long without an attorney present. Anna said that John was Jagger and discussed his relationship with Jason Cordmain, which was evidently new to Jason because he had no recall of it and had not made the link. Jason ultimately slapped the table and said that he has been working with John Cates since November 2021. As Jason detailed his arrest and how he became an FBI informant, he mentioned Britt Westporn, which elicited Anna's unusual reaction. When Anna eventually acknowledged that Britt had been murdered and that the culprit was in jail, Jason cried up. After a brief reflection on Britt's grin, Jason suppressed his emotions and resumed his narrative. Because John had proof of RICO breaches and criminal conspiracy, Jason was obligated to assist the FBI in gathering information on Pipeman. 
They needed a civilian who could work off the books, so Jason said he had been acting as a mercenary for pikemen to gather information. Jason admitted that he was part of the warehouse crew that pursued Sonny, but he was aware of the other two attempts on Sonny's life, which were carried out by other teams. Anna was enraged when she discovered John knew everything about Jason and what was going on in the warehouse. Jason revealed that he ensured the sniper missed the shot, but Dante caught up with them as they readied for extraction. The sniper had fired at Dante and was now dead, but Jason thought Pikeman took care of the body. Jason said he ran because he was attempting to save his contract with the FBI and wanted to recover from his injuries. Jason believed that if he was convicted of capital murder, he would go to prison and be a bad influence on everyone. Anna did not want Jason to give up on Dante's recovery just yet. By saving Dante, Jason may have also rescued himself. When Carly came and requested to see Jason, an officer had informed her that it was impossible because Jason was already with the police commissioner. Carly appeared on edge as she observed Jason and Anna's heated debate through the glass. According to General Hospital spoilers, Jason will get out of this situation one way or another, so stay tuned for more predictions on the difficult path ahead. Jason refused to divulge more at first, but Anna was perplexed over why he'd speak to John privately for so long without an attorney present. After Anna mentioned that John was Jagger and talked about his history with Jason Courtmain, it was obviously news to Jason since he had no memory of back then and hadn't made the connection. Jason eventually slammed on the table and blurted out that he'd been working with John Cates since November 2021. As Jason explained his arrest and how he became an FBI informant, he mentioned Britt Westburn and saw Anna's strange reaction. Anna finally admitted that Britt was murdered and that the killer was in custody, so Jason got choked up. After reflecting on Britt's smile for a moment, Jason swallowed his emotions and continued his story. Since John had proof of RICO violations and criminal conspiracy, Jason was forced into helping the FBI get info on Pikeman. They needed a civilian who could be off the books, so Jason said he'd been working as a mercenary for Pikeman to gather intel. Jason confirmed that he was part of the warehouse team that went after Sonny, but he knew about the other two attempts on Sonny's life which were carried out by different teams. When Anna realized John was fully in the loop on Jason and what was going down at the warehouse, she was furious. Jason explained that he made sure the sniper missed the shot, but then Dante caught up with them as they prepared for extraction. The sniper fired at Dante and was now deceased, but Jason assumed Pikeman took care of the body. Jason said he ran since he was trying to salvage his deal with the FBI and needed to heal from his wound. If Jason went down for capital murder, he feared he'd go to prison and wouldn't be good to anyone. Anna didn't want Jason to give up on Don's recovery just yet. By saving Dante, Jason might have saved himself too. Once Carly arrived and pushed to see Jason, a cop warned that it was impossible since Jason was already with the police commissioner. Carly seemed on edge as she watched Jason and Anna's intense conversation through the window. General Hospital spoilers say Jason will get out of this mess one way or another, so we'll bring you more predictions on the tricky road ahead. Anna did not want Jason to give up on Dante's recovery just yet. By saving Dante, Jason may have also rescued himself. When Carly came and requested to see Jason, an officer informed her that it was impossible because Jason was already with the police commissioner. Carly appeared on edge as she observed Jason and Anna's heated debate through the glass. According to general hospital spoilers, Jason will get out of this situation one way or another, so stay tuned for more predictions on the difficult path ahead. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.